hello and welcome back to my channel wow i feel like it's been ages it's been so long since i've said that it's unreal kind of felt a bit weird if you know you know i've really been on tiktok recently i've been so into making that short form content so if you're wondering where i've been that's what but i'm not gonna lie like i miss my youtube girls i miss you guys so much so here i am i've got a really cool video for you today i'm gonna show you how to lay a wig that just comes straight out of the box needs to be cut and all that jazz so let's get into it step number one i'm just gonna use some gummy wax and i'm gonna push my edges back now we're going to get into the actual wig got it from this brand called wiggins it is a chocolate brown i think 22 inch so it comes down to about my my waist it also came with like a wig cap it came with a comb all these random stuff some lashes wig bands and a little bag for your wig the smell is not the greatest so i kind of do wish i washed it before i um did this video because it's definitely given factory step number two just try to lay out where it's going to sit It looks nice though. How nice is this colour? So this is going to go about there. It looks like the lace has been plucked already. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not the most seamless I've ever seen. I'm really not a wig expert, like I'm still new to this. But I've definitely not had the knots looking so visible. And I'm going to just draw dots across my forehead. Just basically to mark exactly where I'm going to be cutting and applying the glue. So if you can see, I've drawn some dots there, and if I lift that up now, the dots are transferred underneath. So this is the part that used to always screw me over whenever I try to lay a wig. And now spraying your glue or hairspray directly to my head will just drip everywhere and it was just like not good. So now I've ditched doing that and I use a small brush and I spray the ebon directly into a lid. And when I tell you this is a game changer, it's a game changer. Then I just dip the brush into the spray like this, and then I just apply it. And this is just so much more civilized, it just doesn't get everywhere. And now you're going to get your blow dryer on cool air and just let that dry. <gasps> There's a step I always miss and I've missed it again. And it's to literally put some foundation that's a similar colour to your skin on the lace especially this one because this one doesn't look that it's not really blending into my skin at all okay and now we're ready for the second layer and then now that the hairspray is tacky to the touch i'm going to literally fold this back onto my forehead and i try to align some of those dots the middle first and then we do the sides so that's right there on that line then I'm just getting my comb and making sure this is all completely pressed into my head. Now you can tell this is a little bit big for me because of the way it's like curling up, but it should be okay. And I'm just going to lay this down for a little bit. So now we're going to get our wax stick and our hot comb. I'm going to just start the rest of this hair. And now, this is already looking pretty flat on the top. It's looking pretty good. Now, you don't have to do this, but if you do want it to be, like, extra laid, get a bit of water, and I just spray it on top. And just spray that on top of your wax stick. Get a brush. Make sure the water gets distributed through your hair. Then, you want to get yourself some mousse. Then you want to get a netted scarf and tie that over. Get a hood of dryer and sit underneath it until your hair is dry. And then you can just comb everything out. See, that already looks really nice and flat and it does get like hard underneath it but the one you comb it out it's all nice and like fluffy again so amazing it's just nice and flat but it still has movement and that's how you do it and now we're going to cut the lace so if you don't have a blade using a small scissor is good you just have to make short sharp cuts so you want to go boom 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 you don't want to go like this across you want to just go boom 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 and that gives you the same kind of jagged looking cut without having to use blade so that is that okay and this is what we're looking like right now 
And then now all we need to do is get some more lace glue and then we're gonna just basically put that on top. I'm just gonna make sure that all the bits are lifting up, lay down, and also this spray, when you put it on top, it makes it melt into your skin. But this time I'm working in sections, so I'm gonna do the top part first, and then I'm gonna do the sides. And I'm just going to press that lace down. Oof, and that is literally melting right into my skin. I'm just going to finish it off on the sides. This is what we're looking like. Everything is nice and pressed and down. This is looking nice and flat. So all that's left is just to do my edges. Then we're going to get a little bit of mousse. Like that. I'm going to get my band back. I don't normally use bands because they cause my lace to lift, it's really weird. But this has a different kind of material, so I think this should be actually okay. Last step is to straighten the hair. And look how gorgeous and straight that is. And now we can finally do the last step, which is removing this band. And this is the finished look. And look how good this looks. I actually was a little bit worried about this at first because I thought I saw like loads of dots. But once you lay it down, actually really blends into your skin it's also 250 percent density and i can really feel that this definitely feels really nice and like full a lot of the times when you order these wigs online you get these really flimsy wigs this has a lot of hair on it so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you guys next time